want to talk to you a little bit today about nasal fractures or broken noses. Nasal fracture can occur from a fall, an injury, a punch, and can be identified by a change in the appearance of your nose or bleeding of your nose, bruising or swelling of your nose and your face. Very important if you think you have a nose, broken nose, to see your doctor. Sometimes they'll get an x-ray of your nose or a CAT scan. Some of the other things that are very important for your doctor to know are whether or not you have had any other injuries associated with your nose, uh, nasal fracture, including um, injuries to your eyes or other bones in your face. Once it's been determined that you have a nasal fracture, what are you going to do? Well, it's very important within a certain time frame that if your nose is fractured and it needs to be repaired, meaning it's moved out of position or out of place, that it be repositioned. That could be done under general anesthesia with you being asleep, or it could be done using local anesthesia with your face and nose being numbed up with numbing medicine. It's also very important when you see your doctor to have some pictures or photographs of yourself before this happens so that they can determine whether or not this is a new or a old fracture that you have. Sometimes people may have broken their nose prior and a new fracture causes it to look different. Uh, however, when you fix it, you'll only be repositioning the broken portions of the nose as opposed to refracturing old fractures. The procedure usually doesn't take very long, but allows you to be able to breathe better as well as restore your appearance. At the conclusion of the procedure, your doctor will put what we call an external nasal splint on the outside of your nose and occasionally put packing or dissolvable packing or nasal splints inside of the, your nose to keep the position of the fractures in place. Once that's been completed, you're on your way. Um, you will have a follow-up visit for them to remove the nasal splints or the external nasal splint at the conclusion of the procedure. So it's very important to, again, see your doctors within a certain frame of time because these nasal fractures need to be fixed before they heal, which could be within a two-week frame time frame. So with that being said, don't forget to go to the enthealth.org website to have information about nasal fractures as well as to the uh, site that says find an ENT so that you can identify a doctor that can do this for you.